Let me show you how to customize your kick channel so you can start streaming in style. So the first thing we wanna do is go to the top right corner and click on creator dashboard. Now we'll go to the left hand side and click on settings and then profile. From here, we're gonna be able to edit everything we need. First thing we can do is click on edit avatar and this will be changing your profile picture. So whenever you're adding any kind of new images on kick, make sure to read the fine print right here because this is what the specs are gonna be required in order for kick to actually accept your images. So when you have your profile picture, like this you can go and upload it with this button then you can select it and it'll add it as your profile picture and if you don't have a profile picture then you can select one of these cute little avatars instead and then click confirm wait I didn't want to change my god below this is gonna be your banner image and that's what's gonna show up back here so behind this stuff for the banner image and the channel offline banner you have plenty of different options to choose from and I'll go over many different choices you have but what I did for these two specifically is I went with today's sponsor own.tv I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can follow along at home but basically they just make everything you could possibly want for your stream so if you want you can go straight to the banners you can do emotes you do panels but what i did i went to the stream overlay packages i clicked on twitch overlays and then i clicked on the dark mode series package then i want to couple down on the left hand side and then i click the full screen and you can see everything that comes included in this package so you get a bunch of different alerts you get the webcam overlay you get the banners you get a bunch of stuff and honestly i like that because then you're not going around and piecing everything out and this is nice and cohesive so if you want to go with this this route, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can use coupon code CPAWS to save 50% off. Your other options are making them yourselves, which I'll also show you how to do. But for this banner image right here, simply I'm gonna click on edit banner image. You can pick one of the ones provided, but as long as you make sure it's 1280 by 700 and less than four megabits, then you're gonna be good. So for this, it's as simple as upload from local device. Then I can go to my package that I downloaded, click on files. I'm gonna go to YouTube banner and then PNG, and then I'm gonna click on the blank one. And then it uploads it automatically. Now, if you didn't wanna go that route, a little alternative is going to a site called pexels.com for free stock photos and everything. And we'll just type in abstract background. I really like this spacey one. So I'm actually just going to click the download button. Now keep in mind, if we try and upload this directly, it's probably not going to work because it doesn't meet the requirements. We need 1280 by 700 pixels. So let's do that. My favorite way to make all my thumbnails and edits and everything graphic design is actually going to be a site called pixlr.com. And I like using the pixlr e version. It's free and I'm not very good at editing. So it makes it very simple for me to do. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I just like the product. So what we're going to do is click on create new and then conveniently behind my webcam, we're going to change the width to 1280 and the height by 700. Now we're going to click on create and this is going to be our template. So this is 1280 by 700 pixels right here. And it might look a little intimidating, which it is. Don't get me wrong, but I'm going to show you how to do the bare bone basics to get you started. So we're going to go to the layer tab at the top and then we're going to click on add images layer. I'm going to upload the image that we have here. Click open. And if I zoom out, you can see this image is way bigger than the one we needed. So if you want, you can make it smaller or you can just kind of pick out which part of the image you like. But I like this. I think this is good. And since this is going to be the background, I don't want to add any text or anything. Thing. So we're going to click on file and then we're going to click on save. Now you can see that I've already saved more than three times today, but I'll show you a little workaround. I went into a Chrome incognito tab. I'm just going to redo what we just did. So I quickly just remade it in an incognito tab. Click file, click save. Now you can see we have three more saves without having to pay for it. So just keep this between me and you. Otherwise they might fix it. And just remember that not all heroes wear capes. So from here you can see we can have it as a JPEG or a PNG. As long as it's under four megabytes, then we'll be good. So I'm going to keep it as a PNG, not transparent and it's going to be two megabits and that'll be fine. So we're going to click on save as I'm going to call it banner one. And then we've used one out of three daily saves. So then now we can click on edit banner image, upload and upload the banner we just made. And voila, we got this nice banner image. Now you can do the same exact thing for the channel offline banner. It really doesn't even matter because if you have any past broadcast, it's going to show that instead of this banner. And right now there's no way to change that, which I don't really like, but kick is still in beta. So I'm going to cut them some slack this time. So honestly, that banner offline image doesn't really matter. But if you wanted to, you could use the same process with the pixlr and then add text over it and export it the same exact way we did it just make sure that the size would be 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels but low-key this doesn't even matter so if you scroll down we can edit our basic details which shows up underneath the stream if you want to change your username you got to set up two-factor authentication but we ain't got time for that so just put in a little bio about you pop in your email and you're good to go then for your social media you can click on edit you can put in your handles for your stuff like i did here and then click save changes and all of your stuff will pop up underneath your stream and then you can click on these little images 
this, I'll click on the Twitter one and I'll bring it directly to my Twitter account. Wow, who would have thought, right? But now we can get to some even more fun stuff, which are the emotes. And by the way, if you guys want more kick videos like this, you can drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends my channel more to you. So we'll go to the community tab, click on emotes. You can see we got so many slots here compared to Twitch. And this is without even being a kick affiliate. Now, if you want subscriber only emotes, you gotta be affiliated for that, but don't worry about that. So for this one, same exact process, click the plus button, make sure that it's a PNG or GIF file. Image size must not be above 500 by 500 and not above one megabits. So just go through Pixlr, make another one. Or if you wanna learn how to make your own emotes, like how I have this cheers or the hmm or the shh, then I'll leave a video in the top right corner showing you exactly how I made these. But you can just go in and add that and then you name it. So when you put that name right here, this will be what triggers it in your chat. So anytime I type in CPAWS M cheers in my chat, this image will pop up. So I'll type in CPAWS M cheers, capitalization is important and it automatically changes it to the emote, which is dope. I hit send and obviously it sends the emote. But now we can go to the top right corner and then click on channel. You can see we got our cool backgrounds. Obviously we don't have our offline because we have a past broadcast. We scroll down, we got our bio, we got our social links. Now we have our panels. So if we click on edit panels, you can see we have a couple here. You can move them around just by clicking and dragging. You can add a panel title, which I wouldn't recommend because literally it's just this. So if you already have an image, there's no point. So click edit and just get rid of that garbage. Click update. But if we wanted to add a new panel, we can click on add a new panel, click add image, add a new image. And if you went through own, they have their own panels folder. However, since kick is still in beta, these are targeted towards Twitch. So if we try and do a YouTube panel like so, you'll notice that this is for the Twitch requirements and the allowed minimum is 1280 by 700. So we're just going to do the same workaround we did before. So we're going to go back to Pixlr. We're going to click this little home button. We're going to click on create new. Our width is going to be 1280 by 700. Click create. Then you can post your picture in here by clicking on layer and then click add images layer. In this case, I'm going to do the YouTube one, but you can feel free to make your own or do pixels or whatever you want. You can add text, but this is a compact video. So if you want to learn how to do proper Pixlr editing, just look it up on YouTube. So here you can see that we have it posted in here and that's fine. If you want, you can drag it to be bigger. It doesn't look like there's going to be too much distortion. So that's completely fine if you want to do this, but you will introduce more distortion and pixelization the larger you make it. So if I just control Z, control Z, I'll just do that there. And then we're just going to save this image just so it actually gets uploaded. So we'll click on save, make sure it's transparent because otherwise it's not going to look good and click save as. Now, since this specific panel is going to be enlarged, we're going to go to where we made it, upload it, and you can see that it's quite tiny. So if you want, you can crop it like this and it'll make it larger. So it will introduce a little bit of distortion, but I personally haven't noticed it to be too bad. So if we just quickly click add, you can see we got a nice panel and it doesn't even look distorted at all to me. And honestly, this looks fine. I don't see any distortion, which is why I don't have any problem using this method because the images are quite tiny anyways. So you can click edit panels and you can add your YouTube link or whatever you want to post. So I'll click HTTP, Jesus, I can't talk. HTTPS forward slash the colons and all that stuff. YouTube.com forward slash C pause music. And then if you want to add a description, you can, but honestly, I don't think you really need to I'll just click update, cancel. And then anytime you click this YouTube panel, I'll click it. It's going to bring you to, you guessed it. Wait for it. Drum roll, please. The YouTube channel. Bomb. Got it. And if you decide that you don't like a panel, just click edit panels and then you can click remove and then boom, you're in business. Watch these other kick videos to the side of me to spice up your stream. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.